welcome adventurers. Here's what happened last time on the Incorrigible Party. Shikara speaks to Halsa, Igna, and Kula, discovering that the attempt on the Elders' lives will wait until they are outside of Paladin purview. This gives the party only a few short hours to get the Elders to safety as the Paladin warship sails to Pisces. With a distraction from Mia, Falzern's magic, and Shaft's stealthy maneuvering, the Elders are put into a lifeboat and dropped into the sea to make their escape under the cover of darkness. All while Shakara sleeps warily with Sparky watching over her, staying with the would-be assassins to gain plausible deniability. And now, on with the show. Everybody benefits from a long rest, as the journey to Pisces has nearly been completed. The... Ah, you, why, someone roll me a weather die. We got a new day. Someone roll a weather die. Anybody. Who hasn't rolled one before? Emily. Ow. This is not going to go well. It's all right. A one is sunny. Three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, rolling low is usually good on this weather chart. <laughs> Ten's like a damn hurricane, if I remember correctly. It's like the tornado from Robinson Crusoe. If it is a ten, and then the rowboat comes back into shore <laughs> on a hurricane. <laughs> That's funny. You wake up to the crack of thunder and the pouring rain beating down on the, the wooden cabin outside of your windows. It is, it is a stormy day as this warship pulls fairly close to the coastline. Doesn't seem like they are taking it all the way in. Maybe a few hundred feet off. And it's morning, so what, I, I don't, anybody of you all... Like, I think we covered some of the two mint, uh, last at the end of last episode. So, you know, again, you had all this time to attune to whatever you'd like and switch around um, whatever you needed to. If you wanted to make some changes again. Yeah, I think I was going to change up. Um, I'm going to reattune to the Sword of Oozes and unattune to the Wood Elf Bow. Okay. I think after some, some thought that night as I'm laying there, uh, as the ro ship's rocking back and forth, I'm going, wait, that was stupid. <laughs> I'm going to look at this thing again. <laughs> <laughs> right, because uh, unattuning to the Longbow just means you lose advantage on stealth checks, whereas you get extra damage with the sword, uh, short sword oozes. Yeah. Okay, cool. You all wake up in your respective rooms. Shakara, I think you actually woken up uh, probably first, as it seems Pulsa, Igna, and Kula were waking, and their stirring kind of woke you up. Uh, do you still have Sparky out, or did you dismiss him? Uh, he slept with me all night so that he could be he could wake me up if they woke up early. Right. Yeah. So maybe uh, they probably maybe stir Sparky before you and Sparky kind of you know reaches out and, and wakes you up with his little dragonish paw. <laughs> I don't know what he does. He just he, claws he, your he, face like a. Or he could boop my nose with his nose. He, we okay, could have a boops, double nose you, boop. Aww. He gives you a boop. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the looks like the three of. The what do we want to call? Them? We call them, we call them Isabel's people. We call them the assassinators. <laughs> the assassinators, three of the assassinators. <laughs> Looks like they're ready to just go up onto deck to wait to basically get on a boat and, and get to the mainland. Morning. Did you sleep well? Also gives you a soundless nod, and Igna kind of getting up and stretching. I'm quite prepared for today's events. Shall we? Move to the main deck? Yes. And we'll go out the door. Okay, great. And they'll begin to file out. And, uh, you know, they kind of have to walk. They walk past uh, the rest of your rooms, for the, the rest of the party's rooms, as they make their way to the top deck. The other's not up yet, I guess. Are you going to accompany them, or are you going to... I'm going to go with them. Oh, okay, so you're going right up to the main deck? Yes. Okay, great. So, yeah, you're up there a little earlier than uh, the rest of the party, probably. Mia and... Falsey, you were in with Dreg and Mullen. As the mm -hmm. four of you stir, Shaft, you uh, as well. Um, I don't know if Shaft, if you want to do something, you're in your room by yourself. No, I think uh, I think I'm just going to stay sleeping for now, because uh, I know what's probably going to go down. So uh, if I leave the room, 
there I'll have a an issue trying to descri- uh, understand why they they're not there, right? If somebody asks me. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and and roll over there and wait till somebody comes to the door. Okay. Well, the three of you kind of hear the assassinators uh, plus Shakara moving through the hallway and up to the deck. Kind of hear the the footsteps on the the wooden hallway in there. So clearly somebody's up. I think um, Falzern, when he wakes up, he's he's going to stay in bed for a little while and kind of just observe Dragon Mullen and wait for them to rouse and kind of see how they're doing. He's 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 pretty concerned about them, given how traumatic recent events have been, how beat up they were. And uh, as you and two had uh, kind of filed back into that room in the middle of the night right after getting the elders off the ship drag never really paid any attention like he's just always had his back to the rest of the room he's just facing the wall on his side and yeah morning arrives and he does stir and he finally sits up acknowledging your presence is it time to get off this ship yeah i i assume we would almost be to our destination drag how are you feeling? Did you get good rest? After our talks, I'm feeling better. I just look forward to getting back to practicing my magic. Well, that's good to hear. I'm, I'm glad you're feeling more rested, and and hopefully in the coming days and weeks you'll be able to fully recover from the damages that these wounds have caused and be able to cast your spells again my parents are pretty high level clerics do they know any are there any spells that can actually restore someone's hand uh yes there is one i want to offer my parents like my dad or something like that to heal him for free but it's i mean i'm not going to take him all the way to barrack but if he wants to go he can do it himself at some point yes you do know uh it is a regenerate spell it's the seventh level transmutation I would assume one of my parents could. It can restore cast. lost limbs. Yeah, I think your parents would certainly be able to help Dreg. Dreg, there's hope. I, I come from a line of very powerful clerics. Barrack may be on the other side of Aspara, but their services, they would probably heal you for free. With my word. That's very kind of you, Mia. Your hands could be restored. It is a long journey. I fear that I won't be any use to continue to help you. So perhaps that is where I will attempt to go once we get to Pisces. Well, if you get it, if you get to Barrack, everyone knows the Brightwoods. My mom is Zepha, my dad is Garbin. You just gotta tell them I sent you. If I have time... I'll send them a message. They'll be expecting you. Thank you. Thank you, Mia. Just whenever you're going to leave or part from us, I'll send them a message. That's very generous of you, Mia. And, and yes, I agree. I think that may be a fantastic plan for you, Dreg. Wish I could do it myself. I'm not powerful enough yet. Uh, do you guys mind if I go tell Shaft that I heard Shakara and the killers go up on top of deck? No, not at all. I I leave the room to go tell Shaft that I already heard him leave the room. Knock, knock, knock. Yeah? Who is it? It's Mia. Uh, okay, hold on a second. I'm by myself. I go over to the door. Yeah, well, is it clear? Yeah, yeah, it's just me. Good, I gotta piss like a war horse. <laughs> okay. I run past her and run up the steps. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go up to the on the deck... I'm going to grab on to, I'll get on the, the side railing and hold on to a rope and just relieve myself just right over towards the port. <laughs> shaft you, and a shaft. Uh, <laughs> so as you get up to the deck, uh, you do see the assassinators and Shakara. And again, there's Paladin and Silv, they're working, working the deck. You see a, a few of them kind of look over you and they give a chuckle like, <laughs> been there, buddy. <laughs> been there. <laughs> this armor is a bitch to get off sometimes. <laughs> I got a flap. <laughs> I'll, I'll go up on deck and, uh, yeah, he ran, so I'm going to hope that I didn't get to see that. 
<laughs> my character doesn't need to witness it. Oh, I got a good 30, 30 seconds or 45 seconds, so you, right. you can you probably catch the end of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shakara, you are briefly, uh, but for a few minutes, up on this deck alone with the Halsa, Igna, and Kula. Is there something you wanted to speak to them specifically about? Uh, again, Halsa just kind of, she, she as you get up onto the deck, she moves to one of the railings and is just kind of looking out uh, to the mainland. And a paladin, a young looking guy, kind of looks pretty tired, almost as like he's been up all night, but he speaks to you specifically, Shakara. We're uh, just getting some of the lifeboats ready to take it to shore. Good. How many can sit in a lifeboat? Uh, I wouldn't put more than four in that, but uh, it is a short journey. Good. You look tired. Yeah, I. Uh, uh, kind of been up all night. Do you often stay up all night while working on these ships? I mean, I was working that shift. Actually taking care of the boats up here, making sure the rigging's fine. Good. I'll look to Hulsa. Hulsa, have you truly never been off of Heracleon before? She shakes her head. This is quite the adventure for you, then. She nods and a, a smallest, like kind of a faint smile at the edges of her mouth, kind of creeping up. As she's been kind of, again, she's she's been very stoic, uh, pretty solemn since she's been on the ship with you, right? Igna just turns to you. The elders are in their room, waiting to join us on deck then. As far as I am aware... With Shaft, Mia, and Falter. Yes, I am not quite sure how they split up the rooms, since Drag and Mullen are down there as well. Will you ride in the boat with us? I assume, since it seems there is room for four, it makes the most sense to me. Excellent. Then you can take the elders to their safe place, and we will be there shortly after. Yes. Then you all see Shaft sprinting up the stairs of the mid-deck, hopping up on the railing and and letting loose the most epic of urinations. (laughs) (laughs) Told across Aspara the magnificence (laughs) of this urination. (laughs) Shakara just shakes her head and sighs. Mia quickly comes up deck after him, and Falsey, are you just going to collect Dragon Mullen and, and be tailing Mia. Yeah, yeah. I think I will. I will kind of stick with them. I feel um, almost a bit of uh, responsibility, or, or uh, I don't know. I'm. I feel guilty about what's happened to my fellow wizards from Heracleon. Dragon Mullen do seem like they are able to walk a, a much more easy, uh, much easier on their own uh, compared to just the day before after a. A solid night's rest. I mean, the cots are not, you know, the <laughs> five-star uh, hotel living, but it's probably better than sleeping chains to the ground. So right. they're able to, you know, keep pace with you up to the deck. Mullen kind of, you know, he has the bandage over his eye, and he's still missing that ear, so he's just kind of tentatively, like, probing his wounds, right? And Drag is holding his, uh, his, his handless forearm, in what's left of his uh, other hand as they're just quiet and, and following you up to the deck. And you are all convene near the, the near the rear of the ship. Mia, you see that the there's a pal the paladin that was close to, to Shakara. It's actually Arnie is who Shakara was speaking to. And he is, you know, a few about 10, 15 feet away. It looks like he's going over some of the rope and the block and tackle on uh, on the on the rowboats, and actually a second paladin comes over to him, and you see that they're looking and filling with some frayed ropes, the very ropes that Shaft had tried to make look like they were old and, and you know naturally kind of fraying after use. And he just kind of the guy looks at Arnie. Arnie, this is you're supposed to be looking after this stuff. Look at this. Look at the state of this rope. What the hell are you doing? Artie's like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, something came up last night. I got a little distracted. Uh, 
I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Look, we got lots. We'll, we'll use some of the other ones. It's okay. You see, he kind of catches. <laughs> he sees you coming up on deck, Mia, and he kind of falters. Uh, I'll fix it right now. And he just turns, tries to shy away from you <laughs> as he goes to, <laughs> to, to try to fix this frayed okay, rope. <laughs> He's like, oh, we lost another lifeboat. That's the third one in three months, Arnie. There is a boat missing. Arnie, uh, well, yeah, I mean, I guess one broke off as uh, in, in the night or something. Look at this rope. I'm looking at the stairs to down below. Where are the elders? Are they still sleeping? All right, they weren't down there when I woke up. I thought they were up here. They are not down below, and there is a boat missing. Yeah, but they just said they lose boats all the time. Three this month. It could still be somewhere. I'll look at Igna and Kula. Yeah, Ig Igna speaks up. They're gone? They didn't sleep with me, Falzer, and Dragon Mullen in our bunk. That's... They were there when I went to sleep. And were they, they there this them. morning? You have not seen them? I don't them. know. I didn't, they weren't there when I got up. I just got up, like... Two minutes ago. Yeah, we could tell. Well, let's let, let's not jump to conclusions here. I mean, this is a large vessel. Perhaps they've wandered off somewhere else. Let's. We should maybe look around, see if we can find them. Jump off the the railing and go down, and you know, pull up and go down the steps and go. I'll find them. They're probably down there somewhere. Igna looks visibly angry. So I will, uh, I think I'll maybe just go with Shaft and and help him look for the elders. <laughs> okay, quote unquote marks. look. <laughs> Get us yes. a fan out and search out. Okay. Arnie, Arnie uh, kind of turns to Shikara. Yeah, okay, uh, we'll be ready to, to go once once you are. Um, a couple of us are going to go with you. We're, you know, we're not giving you the lifeboats. We've got to return them back to the ship. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll roll with you. I think there's enough room if we take uh, three boats. And then we can we can return them back once we've dropped you off on the land. All right, but we are not going anywhere until we find the elders. Well, look, we got a tight schedule here. We got to get to Port Randis, so I would be quick about it then. I'll run off down the stairs to try and find them. Okay, yeah, Igna and Kula will fan out, staying together. Mio will wander the top deck, and there's enough people that went below. She'll just sort of pretend to be lifting things up, peeking behind things. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, I wonder if they're under this mug. No, nope, <laughs> not there. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Be like, tuck behind this barrel? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I don't know how long you want to, you know, put up this foe's search for, for... About five minutes. Okay. And then I'll just pack my stuff up, and then I, I just went down to the room, pack my stuff up, and then walk back up. Not down there. <laughs> so, Shakara, where did you go? You went down below deck as well? Yeah, t just to look at their room first, and then uh, the room that Mia and Falzerin were in, and then any other rooms that are down there, just give them all a, a look through real quick. Okay. Yeah, you saw Ignan and Kula kind of split off from you. They stayed stayed together and uh, also remained up top on deck. I'm going to put a good show of looking. <laughs> okay. They, Ignan and Kula do not stray very far from you. That's what I figured. Yeah, they seem to be sticking with you. I do not see them anywhere. This is not good, Shakara. How far could someone get in a rowboat? They couldn't be gone more than a few hours. For all of our sakes, I hope not very far. If your friends had anything to do with this, there will be consequences. Of course. I'm glad we agree. We still cannot kill them. We do not need them. We do need them to find the amulet in Drukal. We call. do not. The three of us and you, the four of us, together can find the amulet. We don't need, not, we don't need these people. They have resources and contacts in Drukal that I do not know. I have never been to that city, have you? There's nothing that we can't accomplish. We have less than a week. Once we start making inquiries, the amulet could be removed and hidden. We would never know. We have less than a week on Samuel's timetable. Exactly. We work on our own timetable. We work on Isabella's timetable. Have patience. 
We use them to find the amulet. Then we can get retribution. I disagree. I do not believe we need them. You underestimate them. You underestimate us and the coven. I still think it wise to wait. We use them for what we need first. He kind of stops, you know, as you are speaking to him. He, he almost seems like his anger kind of, he gets it under control and he's kind of realizes who he's speaking to and almost like corrects himself. I understand your point, Aunt Shakara. We... Let us find these elders. If they are still on the ship. I think that unlikely at this point, don't you? Then what do we do now? They must be going to shore. It only makes sense that they would be on the mainland. Surely we could find them. It will be difficult, but as you say, you're on this timetable for the ambulance. We could split up. I to get the amulet, and you to find them. Do you have any idea where they might have gone? I mean, you spent time with them. I do not believe any of them have been on the mainland, as far as I am aware. So no, I do not. But they are three beaten and weakened people. They could not have gotten far. If we fail... I hope that you can sway Isabella to a lesser form of punishment. I will do all I can. Thank you. Halsa's been through enough already. I do not wish to be treated as... I, wish to, I don't wish to be in Halsa's position. I enjoy my station in the coven and the coven's hierarchy. I do not wish to rise above. And I do not wish to sink below. I am happy, as is Kula. Do you feel Hulsa has been taken advantage of? Do you feel she has been mistreated? I believe Hulsa has received everything that she had coming to her. As that is what Isabella deemed fit, I do not question that. That is a diplomatic answer. I only wish to speak diplomatically with the Coven members. I wish you would speak your truth. I have. I wish to kill Shaft, Falzern, and Mia for their part in my failing. If I am to be punished, someone else is to be punished. I understand completely. And I am telling you, I need them. I need them to ensure the coven gets what it needs. They are not to be touched. Not till we get what we need. He nods. And yeah, doesn't look too happy about it. <laughs> and will kind of continue to, to, you know, root around for the elders kind of below deck. I give up all pretense of looking, turn on my heel, and go upstairs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so is, is Halsa still upstairs? She stayed on the top deck, yeah. So I'm going to go over to Mia uh, as, she's, as you're looking around, and I'm going to walk over there while, so Halsa can hear, and I'm going to go, What do you mean you can't find him? Heffa owes me 15 gold pieces, that little bastard! I'm going to sort of kick the wall like I'm really pissed off that he's uh, that we can't find him and start looking around. <laughs> Can you roll me a deception check, please? Absolutely. Fifteen. Okay. Um, you guys, we should probably just go. I don't, I don't see any signs of them, but we are on a tight timetable. Yes, let's be off. I'm ready to go. Okay. They are very clearly not here. The paladins have failed in their task of securing these boats. I just hope they're safe. Yeah. So it's Arnie's fault. <laughs> oh, so, oh, man. <laughs> uh, 
You're poke. You're wanting a fight, Shaft, because the second Arnie defends himself. Well, you get preoccupied. <laughs> <laughs> Who could blame him? Mia, as you're kind of on this deck, like I said, Halsa stayed up there, mm-hmm. and you see that Halsa actually didn't look like she was putting in much effort to to look or search herself. She that she was kind of just hmm. scrawling something out on a scrap of parchment. Okay. And all as you all as you get you know Shakar has returned. You've spoken. You've blamed Arnie as your scapegoat here. <laughs> mm. Poor, poor Arnie was just looking to get poor a little lucky, Arnie. <laughs> <laughs> and got very unlucky instead. He He's up all unlucky. night to get some. <laughs> He's up all night to get lucky. Halsa steps to you, Shikara, and she kind of slides you this note, and I assume you read it. <laughs> yes. Before Igna and Kula rejoin you up on on the deck. And it does look like it is written in Sylvan, for what that's worth. And it simply says, Igna has a short fuse. He is unstable. Be wary of what he says. I have noticed. He is angry at the others, and I had to talk him down. I have told him he cannot kill the others as he wants, that we need them. To get what the coven desires. After that, he can have his way. She, you know, gives you a nod, and she kind of goes back to scribbling on this parchment and shows you again. I wish to speak to you further in private about other matters. When time allows. Mayhaps when we get to Campbell's, then. She nods. Igna and Kula are going to separate from us when we reach the mainland in order to search for the elders. You and I will go to Campbell. Yeah, she'll definitely give you a nod as uh, Ignan and Kula come up to mid-deck and join the rest of you back up top. Again, Igna, he looks like uh, he again, his anger, he's, he's able to temper it a little bit, but he definitely does not look happy. Uh, mm-hmm. Kula has a similar expression on his face. And Arnie is, you know, he kind of steps back up to... Sh- okay, he's, shy- he's shying away from Mia and Falzer and not making eye contact with either of them. And he's kind of addressing, like, Shakara and uh, Shaft. Uh, well, if, uh, if, you're, if we're ready to go, uh, it doesn't look like you've found uh, the, the other people you were looking for. I don't know what happened. We have not. What, do you think they, they took the boat? So it's not my fault. You were the one that was watching the boats. Yes? Well, okay, but it's not entirely my fault. I will leave that up to Samuel to decide. Let's get to the mainland. Oh, no, no, I don't think we need to say anything. Let's go! To Mr. Cole. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh, who would like to come in the boat with me? Uh, partic- <laughs> he kind of shies away. He's like, maybe <laughs> I'll take, uh, I'll take uh, you. He points the shaft. Why don't you, you, you can ride with me. Sure, why not? Mia is more than happy. To go Take to Dragon Mullen as well. I uh, get. It. I go sort of. I assume these are like hanging off the side of the boat, or are they actually in? No, not uh, not quite in the water yet. As the the top of this deck is about ten feet above the the ocean. Okay. Yeah, I'll hop on and wave over to Drag Mullen. Come on, hop in. They were able to, you know, kind of boost up and and get into. This boat, so that's four in in one. So what do we have? And, and uh, that that a second paladin kind of steps up to be able to hop in one of the boat. Don't necessarily need, you know, a paladin per boat, but at least one of them can drag the third one behind them. So it could be a, another paladin and three other people in one of the other boats. Yeah, I'd like to hop into a boat that's going to keep me close to Dragon Mullen. So I'll hop into the next one, I guess. The three of us shall go in our own boat motioning to Igna, Kula, and Hulsa. Okay, so Paladin follows the Emiya, and then Shikara and the Assassinators. <laughs> Suspiciously matters which boat we're in. <laughs> just just making sure everyone's in their place. That's uh-huh. all I'm saying. <laughs> uh-huh. Wink. Wink. <laughs> and Igna says, I... Okay, I prefer not to ride with this one. As he motions to Arnie. Did we check below deck for phlogiston? <laughs> uh, I guess in the in the portions of the ship you were looking, you did not see any uh, 
barrels or anything or stacks. Oh, of I'm just kidding. It. Rowboats obviously don't have bottom decks, but. <laughs> The boats will be lowered into the water, and again, you're only a few hundred feet uh, from the the coastline, and you can see the docks. All right, what's my swim? What's your swim speed again, Falzer? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just make small talk as we're going, you know, to uh, so I'm in there with Drag and Mullen. I'll go. Uh, hey, you guys need to really check out the Jack Deal. It's uh, it's got some good brews there. Yeah, uh, yeah. There was a great article in the last Palaboys about it. You should check it out. <laughs> <laughs> the articles. <laughs> Arnie, Arnie kind of leans over. He's like, yeah, that was a great article. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My man. <laughs> Give him five. Yeah. <laughs> so I'd say your boats are probably rowing about 10 or 15 feet apart, right? And this whole time, Igna it seems like he's like working himself back up again. He can just see the tension. Now, who's rowing in your boat, Shigar? Um, well, it's not Hulsa. Why not? I would assume it would be Igna and Kula, because that would be below Shikara. Igna is aggressively paddling. Maybe a little too too hard on some, some uh, you know, strokes. And Kula's, like, tr- trying to match. So the, this two-sided paddle is keeping the rowboat straight. Igna's just kind of looking over to the the Paladin with Falzi and Mia, which is the closest boat to him. So, Shakar and the Assassinators on like the right, Paladin, Mia, Falzi in the center, and then Shaft, Arnie, Dragon Mullen would be on the left. Because you're making this kind of V with these boats as you're, you're moving to shore. But Igna is just kind of yelling over at the, the Paladin, like, you uh, sure screwed the pooch on uh, your duties. You know, this is why. Nobody trusts you or likes the, your ranks. It's just ridiculous. And uh, the, you know, the paladin's like, you yelling at me for? Look at, it was Arnie! What are you talking about? <laughs> but Igna's like, yeah, getting like worked up with this paladin. They see, they're like getting, they're just yelling more and more back at each other, like the whole way through. And Igna... He, he stops the paddle for a second, and he stands up. He gets so angry, he gets to his feet and is yelling at the paladin. And, like, he's directing at the paladin, but clearly it's, like, not really the paladin he's frustrated with, obviously, right? And you see that he motions to Halsa to take his oar. That's, that's it. Get us to the, get us to the land. Uh, enough! I've had enough of I'll this. I'll grab the oar, stand up, and whack him with it. Knock him in the water. Okay. Now, I'm not... I, I'll motion for the boat to stop. Mm-hmm. And wait for him to surface. He comes back up sputtering. This is enough. This ends now. I have had enough. It is not what you are here for. What I am here for has been interrupted. And we will deal with all that. All of you. You will do as you are told. Help me back into this boat. You will not talk to me like that. You are a disgrace to the coven. And what are you acting like this? You are being childish and imbecilic. I am loyal. You are trying to start a fight with a paladin. A paladin occultist. If anybody deserves to have a fight started with them, you know who I would rather take it up with. I know. That is not something that can be dealt with at this time, as we have discussed. Now will you either calm down, or be left behind? Will you help me into this boat? Are you calm? Do I sound calm? No. Neither do you. You tell me I'm childish. Your reaction is no better than mine. You have pushed me to this. You have pushed me! I'm going to thwack him on the head with the oar. <laughs> you oar Not him. enough to actually hurt him. You right. just dunk him again. <laughs> and he come, bobs back up sputtering. And you see he kind of uh, like paddles a few feet away from the boat, kind of trying to get out of your reach of the oar. And he's just looking to Kula. and uh, He's looking to Halsa and Kula. This indignation. She's... You have a job to do. 
But if you, you are unable to carry them. out your duties, you will be sent back. You can't send me back to Heracleon. I am a member of the Coven. I am one of the three. Do you want to test me? Every action you've taken since we've gone onto this boat has been testing me. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? You've come from where and why? It matters why you? not. Isabella chose me. And yeah, you kind of mentioned Isabella. And again, he, he kind of tries to course correct while trying to save face, right? Isabella's choices are her own. I simply follow her orders. Her orders are my orders. When we are the same. When your you orders contradict should hers. should give me the respect that you give her. You have not earned that respect. I do not need to earn your respect. You are beneath me. Roll me uh, an intimidation with advantage, please. Uh, wait, I got that amulet too. Brooch of intimidation. Okay, so that's a, a uh, 18. Igna's face remains in like a grimace and, and Kula kind of tentatively gets to his feet as well. Please, uh, and Shakara, we understand. We understand. Igna, he, he he just lost his temper. Igna, come on, please. And he kind of steps to the edge, putting a hand out to, to invite Igna back in. We understand. We, 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 uh, we, we respect your position. You are, as you say, one of the three. Igna, stop this. Stop this. And Igna will, you know, tentatively tread closer to the boat. <laughs> I mean, I imagine you still have the oar in your hand. <laughs> I like, do. <laughs> okay. So he'll continue to move. Uh, he, he doesn't say anything to, to Kula, but he'll take Kula's hand. And if you'll allow, Kula will help him into the boat. I will allow. You are lucky you are needed at this time. Do not push your luck. And I'll sit back down and hand the ore back to him. He will accept the ore and sit down and begin to row. I'm going to look over at Drag and sort of laugh and go, sort of fun to watch when it's not directed at you. <laughs> <laughs> Falls are in <laughs> covens, am I right? <laughs> Falls are in, looks to me and just kind of smirks, chuckles a little bit under his breath. Still a bit, uh, not wanting Shakara to hear him chuckling because there's a bit of fear there as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, at least it's not you. <laughs> and uh, that whole interchange, Halsa remained seated in the boat. And she, <laughs> for those that, uh, again, Shakara, you might not have noticed as you were in the midst of this interchange, but the rest you kind of you know, being outside uh, viewers of it. She she kind of, she she's just, there's a smirk or two as Shakara is laying into into Igna. Uh, she, she, you know, enough where she's like, it's difficult for, to her, for her to suppress. <laughs> and she is, seems to be enjoying uh, as uh, this interchange between them. Arnie kind of looks uh, almost like, he kind of looks almost like he's ashamed. He's like, boy, I really wish I hadn't <laughs> abandoned my post. <laughs> He kind of shoots a tentative glance over to Mia. <laughs> and you get to shore. And as you're kind of nearing it, you know, the sun is starting to crest this horizon as now the early morning. The the dock, like the Pisces dock, it looks like there's been minimal repairs that have been made there uh, since the, the Kraken attack. And it does look like it it's deserted. There's no workers down. It doesn't look like there's any type of operations going on yet uh, still at the Pisces dock. But you are able to find uh, some some shore to, to get off of these boats and onto dry land. And the uh, Arnie and the other paladin will kind of, you know, th tie a rope to the end of the third boat and just kind of drag it behind them as they, you know, give you... Arnie gives you a, a, a awkward wave as he kind of finally makes full eye contact with Mila and, and eyes dart to Falzerin. 
Mia does a tip of the hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Where is everyone? Why? Why are the docks in such disrepair? Yeah, I think I would have uh, cleaned a little bit of this up. I look over at Jeb's shipwright shop. Is there any? Uh, is Jeb over there working on any boats, or is it abandoned over there too? Yeah, it doesn't look like anybody's over there. Hmm. Brackleon looks way better than this. Holy smokes! Yeah, I have no idea. Maybe we uh, ask around, see what's going on. Is, is the streets, are they just empty and quiet? Like deserted? Well, uh, just, again, you're just in the dock area so far. It just doesn't look like there's any dock workers. There's nobody here. So you can move further into the city if you wish. Um, you know, I don't know what... So, uh, Igna and Kula and Halsa are kind of just standing there, basically waiting for Shikara's direction. <laughs> Igna still is, remains silent. Shikara will look to Igna and Kula. You know what you have to do. We are going to Campbell's, and then we will be in your call. Join with us there. Igna gives you a nod. Kula, of course. Uh, also, let's let's be. Also, will stay with me. I have uh, need of her. Oh, that that's gonna that's gonna further hinder our our, our task. Are you saying you're not up to this? I, I, Are you I'm saying just... you cannot handle what has been given to you? Shakara, guys, like, this is crazy. Stop arguing. Let's just go to Campbell's. Who cares who goes where? Let's go. We, 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 we can, we can take care of it. Uh, it's, it's fine. Igna, come, let's, let's, let's be off then. Where are they going, Shakara? They have things they need to do. Isabella has asked for them. Okay. Let us go to Campbell's. That's what all this arguing was about, Isabella? Loud enough for all of us to hear it, we're part of the business now. Igna was feeling above his station, and I had to put him back in his place. Well, yeah, I saw you put him in the water. <laughs> <laughs> pretty funny, actually. That was his place. Below me. He needed a reminder. All right, so Halsa's coming with us to Campbell's? Yes. I have need of her. Okay. Okay, further into the city of Pisces, then. Yes. So, yes, as you do kind of exit the dock areas, getting into the this you know lower portion of, of the city, that's kind of, what is this? I guess it's on north of uh, the river that kind of cuts through the city itself. The streets, they're not deserted, so not like the like the dock. There is a few people out. As again, this is the early morning. But there are definitely people walking around on the streets, coming to and from some of the buildings and the, and the businesses here. So it doesn't look like, uh, you know, I don't know if you were, if you were alluding to, John, if the whole city had been abandoned or something like that. So there's definitely still looks like there's activity within the streets of, the, of Pisces. It's just early in the morning, so not a lot of people out. Okay. Tolstoff's on the corner with the megaphone, telling tales. Oh, no, wait, Tolstoff died. <laughs> yeah, some uh, reanimate <laughs> ah! <laughs> I forgot he died. It's a revenant. It's not a revenant. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> All right, never mind. Speaking I of, <laughs> that's really uh, no. <laughs> no, don't bring up the revenant. <laughs> hey, don't talk about it. Out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> yeah, I think I think we'll just sort of head down the main road there uh, to take the bridge across the the river and go to the Golden Nicker. You arrive at the Golden Icker. And as you move further into the city, it does look like it gets, you know, kind of busier as you're, you're getting deeper into, uh, you know, more of the uh, the centralized, like, businesses and operations there. It actually looks like there's a lineup of people out at the Golden Icker. As you approach the, the door, you know, you s I assume you're just going to walk right in. Yes. A few people are like, oh, you're, you're cutting in line. Uh, I'll just glare at them. Is there a bouncer? Uh, it's like we we know someone. We we got a guy. There's, there's <laughs> no Campbell bouncer. is my friend. Oh, Campbell is a friend. Get out of my of way! Us. Get out of my way! Why is there okay, such a long line? We can roll another intimidation check. No. Yeah, what the heck is up with this? Uh... This evil party member? That's a twenty-six. <laughs> <laughs> he he <laughs> steps back, uh, back into his line, like against like the front of the shop, kind of you know quick motion for you to. Go ahead. <laughs> As you wish. I'll hang back and I'll look at the guy and say, what's what's the, why is there such a long line? 
Oh, we're all all getting the 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 solution. Uh, everyone's pitching in. Where are, are you? Just not from Pisces? Where have you been? We've been on Heraklion. What what kind of solution are we talking? Yes, tell us more about the solution. You heard about that uh, the black ooze stuff, right? The oh yeah, tainting yeah. Tainting the waters. Yeah, it's we fixed it. It's fine. What, you, what do you mean you fixed it? Campbell found the fix for it. He's he's the one that can reverse its effects. Oh, we like we stopped its production. I mean, obviously some ooze still exists. Uh, you know, everyone's pitching in with the cleanup now. The waters are still contaminated. Oh no. Okay. Cool. He found a cure. That's awesome. Yeah, we're all just waiting to get, you know, our our share of it to go pitch in. So. Okay. Well, I'll I'll sorry to cut the line, but um like she said, we kind of are close friends with him. Well, I won't steal any of your solution. I don't I don't think I need it. So you're not going to help. In some ways we're helping. We've got <laughs> He looks he looks confused and is uh you know, kind of shrugs. Yeah, like I said, sir, um, we're kind of starting to fix things from the source. So we have, like, bigger fish to fry, if you hmm. know what I mean. Why don't you roll me a, hmm, there's no snark <laughs> skill. Mia drops her big D onto the floor. I have an ego skill. It's pretty yeah, high right? level. And it goes thud. Probably Performance or... I've got it could persuade, be performance. I've got persuasion. Uh, maybe if you want to use persuasion, you can go for, for that. 30. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he, uh, he, he still... Oh, no, that's like damage. He... Sorry, 26. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was reading Shaft's number. In that case. He, like, understands what you're saying and, like, the point you're getting to. He still is confused and, you know, a little uh, taken aback being spoken down to. <laughs> he pulled a, pulled a real Shikara here. <laughs> <laughs> the whole party is just like really <laughs> talking down to this guy. Dialed in. And you know, he'll just kind of, again, he just, he can't really step back anymore, but he just kind of motions, okay, uh, you do you, I'll, I'll just do what I'm doing, I suppose. And I walk in like, I'm going to do me. Okay. Shakara, immediately marching in, you do you see this lineup just kind of stretches right into the store, right up to the, the counter, and Campbell is like frantically behind it, but he sees you. Shikara! You've returned! Yes, finally. And we have much to talk about. Of, yes, I've, I've cured the black goose! I see. I heard. That is wonderful. He kind of motions. You see there's a, a, a little uh, a, a young human that's kind of like helping him behind this counter. Just kind of motions to him. Take care of them. Just... Fills the buckets, gives it to them, and then send them on this way. Ah, Shikara, Shikara, where are the others? Oh, look behind me. Hi, Campbell, hey! Lagging back. Ah. It's me, Mia Brightwood! Of course, the Brightwoods. Come, come, come back to the back. I'll walk in. Follow. Yep. Okay, he'll take you just into his, his back room. So much has happened. So much has happened for us as well. I have no idea, Campbell. So? There is so much to tell you. Yes, yes, I look very forward to hearing about your adventures. You've made it to the island fine, then. Oh. Mm-hmm, kind. Sort of shake my head yeah. back and forth. Mm -hmm. Fine, sort of, uh, I guess a way to put it. Getting there's just the beginning of the story. Um, Shikara did insist that we stop here. Um, why again? Why are we stopped here, Shikar? Campbell, I need to talk to you. About things privately. Oh my. Uh, of course. Uh, can I ask you, so who is uh, this one? As he points to Halsa. This is Halsa. That is quite the decoration you have there. As he points to his own forehead. She is part of the story. The three of us need to have a conversation. And I'll look at the others. If you don't mind, some privacy. No, no, no. Uh, certainly, Shakara. That's no problem. Yeah, fine by me. I kind of look sideways to Shaft and just share a very, very brief look between the two of us. I, I walk over to Campbell. I sort of pull him down to me. So his, his ear's over and I go, She's pretty pissy right now, so 
I'd probably uh, watch what you say back to her. Oh, my, I, I will cheer her up, so no, not to worry. And I slap him on the shoulder. Thanks, uh, just giving you a warning, pal. Campbell. <laughs> and walk Ca- back to Falter. Campbell, and I'm like rummaging through my things, and I have a couple of those like vials that I drank potions out of, but refilled with phlogiston. And here, here I got, I brought these for you. Ah, oh, Mia. Yeah, Spended. research. Very interesting. Right? Ah, the f- phlogiston. But what is this other one? Uh, looks like some some black goo, but uh, s- different. Yeah, I mean, fi- I figured you could figure it out. Oh, f- you, you do not know what it is? I think it's like a mixture of the black goo that you cured and also phlogiston. Oh, my his eyes go wide. Oh, my. Did not think to combine the thing. That is very interesting. As <laughs> he sees mind just whirring at the possibilities. All right, well, have fun, guys. <laughs> okay, so so Mia follows you and Shad. You step back and like, what? You're just gonna hang out in the shop, or what do you? I think I uh, I will I will walk out back out where there's a big line of people. There's over, um, and we see them handing them buckets of. What do we see them handing yeah, yeah. out to the people? So you see that they are being handed, uh, you know, peering into the... Bu- I mean, I say bucket, but, like, they have, like, a, a lid. So it's more like a container kind of thing, right? But it's almost like this, you know, like a fire line. You know, we'd see in the old uh, firefighting days, like, handing buckets of water down the line to douse the fire kind of thing. That's kind of what's mm-hmm. going on, right, as people are grabbing them and, and moving up. But inside, the it looks like there's, like, this uh, purplish liquid... Uh, it does kind of look pulpy, and there's kind of swirls of of black in it as well. I, I think I want to just fo- now. Are you say they're carrying the buckets out, or they're grabbing the buckets and passing them down the line, like like you yeah, said. Yeah, is it like fire, each person which... gets a cup and drinks from it, and pa- like what's that's what I'm are they drinking it? So they're taking these large kind of, It's about I don't know how many gallons it would hold, but and they're handing them down the line out the store. Okay, I'd like to follow the line to find where the buckets. Yeah, let's let's go watch the cleanup. Dumped. And that's our show. If you're not already, be sure to follow us at Incorrigible Par on Twitter, Incorrigible Party on Instagram and Facebook, and you can go to IncorrigibleParty.com for world lore and PC information. And we've recently started adding some maps there as well. Incorrigible Party is generously sponsored and made possible by Critical Hit Design. For any of your design needs, visit criticalhitdesign.com. All ambient sound and music is provided by Tabletop Audio. And our intro and outro music was created by Josh Jarvis. You can reach him at jamesmercymusic at gmail.com. Happy adventuring!